Hello everyone, today I am going to be taking a look in on my experimental worm bin where I have been trying to determine how much food and bedding it takes to get one pound or half a kilo of finished castings out of, you know, how much food. I have been weighing all of the bedding and all of the food. It's been going for about six months now. I do plan to keep this rolling for about a year. Last check-in was January 8th, so we're coming up on almost a month. So it's time to take a peek in here and see what's going. Current weight is 29.2 pounds or 13.25 kilograms. So I, I had put more uh, bedding on top last time to get the flies to not come and hang out. Uh, that did not exactly pan out the way I wanted it to. They're, they're here anyway but I think it's because I, I put too much bubble wrap and whatnot on the top and it kept it a little bit too moist. And so now I'm still dealing with those dang gnats. Let's see what we've got here. We added a lot of bedding last time and the original one pound of worms is definitely, look at the little cocoon there. It looks like it's about ready to hatch. The original inhabitants are definitely getting ready to explode again. These tomato peels have been in here for a couple of months. They eat the tomato right away, but then these wrappers of the tomato look almost, you know, the skin of the tomato looks almost like a plastic. But I assure you, I do not grow plastic tomatoes. All right, let's keep having a look in here and uh, right in tandem with there being a little bit too much moisture, you can also see some springtails if I can get them to activate. I have the kind that spring. Um, apparently there's a different kind of springtail that just kind of walks. I don't know. Uh, seems like false advertising to me if the springtail doesn't spring. Okay, so this was a finish or a whole avocado that was not eaten by humans at all. And it's a big Florida avocado. And it looks like they're starting to get into that goo, the paste. It doesn't smell bad or anything. Uh, they are just not quite done yet. So I'm gonna put that back in the corner. Gonna come back to the center here, which is where we fed last time. I'm just gonna move everything over. It's about 65 degrees Fahrenheit in the basement. And so, <clears throat> yeah, it is just, you know, in a very good temperature for these worms. These are um, mostly red wigglers here and they definitely, definitely, enjoy their nice cool weather. It's a little bit warmer outside. We're up almost to 40 today. So everybody else is less miserable with the increasingly warm weather. I know we were just made it to February, but uh, it seems like the worst of it is definitely over. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, all that. Uh, I don't know, the older I get, the more I am over winter. Never really did enjoy winter sports like, you know, skiing or whatever. I just really, really don't enjoy driving in, in snow. So let's see what we've got here. I'm not seeing any evidence of the food after a little bit over three weeks. So we made some good time. There's just the super long-term food that's still in here. Those avocados, let's see, yeah. I mean, they're in there, but they're definitely not they're not finished up. So they definitely need some extra food in order to uh, keep rolling. One of the things I found in my books lately, and this is not a really good example of it, but if you look at the color of the flip side of the worm here, according to the book, European nightcrawlers in particular will turn this whitish pinkish color if they're malnourished. I thought that was pretty interesting that, that they called out European nightcrawlers um, in particular are susceptible to losing their pigmentation when they are malnourished. Um, these guys are definitely not malnourished because they got like five pounds of food last time. I definitely do not think we need more bedding this time. So I am just going to go ahead and start get, digging them a hole so they can get more food. If you want to make a little worm's day, why don't you click that subscribe button? And while you're at it, why not give them the muddy thumbs up? All right, so for this side of the bin, I have some uh, previously frozen bananas. These ought to go over really well, except for the stem. 
the stems usually last for a couple of months, but those bananas are definitely going to uh, be on the favorite foods list of those worms. All right, so yeah, I think we're just gonna have to put up with those tomato skins for a while. Bin's getting super full. And we're going to add another bag of food here, which has got some peppers, lemongrass, and melon in there. I think we gave them that whole pumpkin last time and we didn't even so much as see a stem. It's pretty wild. Let's see how they do on this lemongrass. I suspect that's going to uh, be a long-term food. Now let's move this all over and see what the final tally for today is in the way of weight. Okay, the uh, final weight for today is 33.6 pounds, which is 15.25 kilograms. If you like this series, I can go ahead and link uh, my playlist to it right over here so you can watch from the beginning. And if you've already watched that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video right over here. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.